Hey there folks, got a battle today against Chewing Gun 74 We had this battle a long, long time ago, as is the case with most of these PBR battles, and he's actually probably really grumpy that I didn't post this battle uh, well, a long, long time ago. I'm pretty sure I told him that I would. Um, but anyway, I am really not sure what happened here. Uh, I was going through my old uh, YouTube um, emails, and he did say that he was going to be using a mono normal type team, and I have no idea why I chose to use this team against him. Um, you know, it, he said he didn't really know too much about tears. I really should have just used my UU team because this just works out to be a really uneven match. Um, so anyway, he leads off with Persian. Persian's going to go for fake out. Uh, fake out was an obvious prediction, but I actually carry the roost on this set in addition to my, you know, I have a focus action and everything. I do actually carry the roost. Um, and I just wanted to set up my stealth rocks no matter what, so I do get my rocks up. And um, I figure, you know, uh, what's he going to do? He goes for the Screech, which is actually kind of interesting. Uh, as I go for... Um, oh, th th that's still the same turn, right. This is the next turn now. I go ahead and go for the Roost, get my health back to full, thinking that he's probably going to switch out. Instead, he goes for the Bite, and Bite's actually a great move to have on Technician Purgeon. And it takes me on to really, really low HP. Now, I mean, I could switch out at any point, and I'm not sure why I didn't. I figured, I guess, that Rock Slide, I was expecting him to Sucker Punch or something like that. Um, but he never goes for Sucker Punch, so I actually go for the Rock Slide here. It does not take him out. I was expecting it to take him out. It does not. He's going to actually take me out with a Bite, and therefore get the first KO of the match. Now, he's actually got a Life Orb. So, um, this is going to be a double down situation, he's going to KO himself with that life orb, and we both lost our leads. So, uh, I mean, really I could have played a lot more effectively. To be completely honest, I just really wasn't taking this battle seriously at this point. Um, now I'm going to send out Metagross, as he sends out Vigoroth. Um, so yeah, I mean, Vigoroths often carry fighting type moves, I guess. But I'm just really not fearing anything. Um, I mean, I don't think they carry Earthquake. Maybe they do. He goes for the sub, so I'm like, okay, so probably some kind of sub punch set? I don't know. I go for the Hammer Arm. I probably would be better off with Earthquake, considering the Big Ross are actually rather frail. Um, so that's going to obviously break his sub, considering it is super effective. Um, but I, you know, I really, you know, I'm not about to set up Trick Room. It really does me no good to have my uh, speed drop like this. So he's going to go ahead and set up another sub. Fine by me. Uh, I'll just whittle him down slowly. Uh, he looks like he has a citrus berry. He's going to recover a bit of health with that citrus berry. Uh, my hammer arm actually misses. Uh, kind of lame, kind of lame, but it is what it is. Uh, now, he, uh, now you can see it's a sub punch set. I go for the earthquake just to break the sub, and I'm pretty sure I can take a focus punch. Uh, I mean, I am a Metagross, I am pretty bulky, it's not a super effective hit, it's not even a stab hit, so as long as his item isn't like Leftover, uh, not Leftover, I'm sorry, Life Orb or something really serious, oh, I know it's not Life Orb, yeah, actually that Focus Punch did next to nothing, so really had nothing to fear whatsoever. Now he's going to go for the Shadow Claw, I mean, it's, again, not super effective, not stab, ain't going to do jack to my Metagross. So now I'm going to take him out with an Earthquake, not going to be a problem. Um, oh, he actually survives the Earthquake. Oh, never mind. Um, but that's okay. I have Bullet Punch on this set, so I'm going to be able to polish him off on the next turn. And now he's down two Pokemon. Um, and all I've lost is my lead, so uh, I guess all he's lost is his lead and one other Pokemon as well. I really shouldn't be getting too cocky. You know, this battle, I guess he could have surprised me, but I mean, looking at his team, I was just thinking, oh, this is a really uneven match. I really, when I saw his team, I should have said, okay, look, uh, let me go get my UU team because this battle is just stupid. I mean, this is just insane. Um, so I withdraw Metagross. I send out Kamiko, my, um, what should I call it? Flygon. Uh, he sends out uh, Ursa Ring, uh, which is going to get its, uh, uh, it's going to get its Toxic Orb activated. Um, I'm going to go for the Outrage thing. Yeah, that'll probably take him out, right? Um, actually, not so much. Ursaring has a lot more bulk than I gave it credit for, and or Flygon's attack kind of sucks. So now, a Guts boosted, um, Stab, Facade, um, boosted, you know, power doubled by the Poison is going to take out my Flygon. Flygon was pretty useless. I'm, you know, there's a reason I don't run Flygon in 5th gen. It just really does not have the firepower that you really want. 
Anyway, I'm gonna polish off this Earth Ring. I know it's a gut set, not a quick feet set, based on the, the damage that that did, or at least I'm expecting. Um, and so I'm, I easily take him out with my, I easily outspeed him take it out with my, um, Celebi. Out's gonna come Lopany now, and I'm thinking, okay, not sure what this Lopany's gonna do. Uh, it's actually gonna go for Ice Beam. Okay, was not expecting that. I don't think I could have expected it. Uh, does a considerable amount of damage, and he gets the freeze. So, ordinarily, this would be really frustrating, but it's Celebi, it's got natural cure. I can switch right out, and it'll be all good. So, I'm gonna pull back, uh, predicting the Ice Beam, I send Uchikoma back out, and um, so, you know, Uchikoma is gonna take that Ice Beam like it's nothing. Um, actually, it's doing a fair chunk of damage. Uh, and I'm actually surprised at how hard this Lopany is hitting. Um, Lopany is gonna get withdrawn at this point. Okay, I mean, yeah, I pretty much wall it. I guess. Out now is gonna come Furret. Now, on the Switch, you know, I mean, all his Pokémon are normal types, so... I wasn't expecting the Switch, I wasn't not expecting the Switch, but it doesn't matter. All his Pokémon are normal type, I can go for the Hammer Arm, it's going to hit someone super effectively, and I take out his Furret in one hit. So, bye-bye Furret, I didn't even get to see what set it was running. Um, yeah, so, bye-bye. <laughs> this battle is, again, this battle is really lopsided. I think what happened was that when I had this battle, I really needed a battle with this team. Um, and so I was desperate for a battle with this team, I guess. Anyway, Lopini's gonna go ahead and Focus Blast me. Um, and it's going to KO, and I was actually a little bit surprised there, and I'm wondering at this point, wow, that's kind of impressive considering Lopini has, what, base 55 special attack? Turns out he is Spexed and not Klutz. So knowing that he's Spexed, I send out Celebi and indeed force a switch because, you know, Celebi resists Focus Blast plus Focus Blast has crap accuracy. And out here is going to come Dunsparce. Uh, Dunsparce, the derpiest Pokemon of all. Um, actually, I did some reading before this battle. I go for the recover on the switch just to get Celebi's health back up. And here I'm going to switch out. I actually did some reading um, on Dunsparce. Dunsparce is apparently a, a highly effective um, paraflincher in uh, NU. Uh, based on the fact that it has Serene Grace, uh, you know, so any move that you know has a chance of um, flinching is going to you know get that chance doubled, and you know with the paralysis anyway. So yeah, here we here we go. He's gonna go for the Rock Slide, having hit my um, Quants on uh, you know with T Wave. I don't get flinch. I don't get paralyzed. That's great. My Stone Edge hits, so that's gotta be uh, you know a little bit of hacks on my end that all of that worked out successfully. Um, and I am going to take out the Dunsparce, so that's nice for me. Uh, got the Life Orb, just showing you that. Uh, next after my po my opponent is going to be that Lopany. Predicting the Focus Blast, um, I mean, it's, you know, uh, it's fairly obvious, unless he decides to uh, predict that move, you know, predict my switch. I'm going to send out Celebi here. I know that actually if he locks himself a Nice Beam, I can take one, barring no, you know, uh, nothing weird. Uh, Lopany is his last Pokemon, so one of my Pokemon, one of my many Pokemon, will certainly wall him. Um, Focus Blast misses here. It's not like it really mattered. It wasn't doing anything to Celebi. Celebi is going to go ahead and go for the Seed Bomb. It hits quite hard. Is not actually enough to take him out, but I'm hoping that the Sandstorm is. Uh, it turns out that he survives with just a sliver of HP here. He's going to uh, he's going to go ahead and go for another Focus Blast. Um, and this is going to be the end of the match as I go for the Seed Bomb. So, great game, I guess, Chewing Gun 74. Uh, I mean, if you ever want to battle again, maybe we'll do something with, with the battle being a little bit more balanced. But he was a really good sport about it, so... Oh well, I'm not going to complain any more than you know, I already have. I'm sorry, I'm kind of a jerk right now. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.